around three years ago, I went to Bhakra Nangal Dam. That dam is on that dam is on a hilltop. And I have to go through, I have to went through six layers of security checks before I reach the hilltop. And those security checks are being done at a regular interval or regular distances. Why those security checks? So that if I manage to compromise or negotiate on one security check post, the another security check post is waiting for me. So defense in depth is an approach to cybersecurity in which a series of defensive mechanisms are layered in order to protect the valuable data and information. Defense in depth is an information assurance strategy that provides multiple redundant defensive measures in case a security control fails or vulnerabilities exploit. So if you talk about the normal logical architecture of an organization, you will find you will find ISP routers with some basic packet filtering done. Then traffic will go. Then once it passes the ISP router, the traffic will reach your parameter router. It will have some packet controlling. It will have some packet filtering enabled. Then it will reach your firewall. Then behind that, it will have a department. You will it has to pass to department to firewall. Then IPS IDS, and then you have antivirus at the end. So what is those? So here you will find the different layers. Different security controls are implemented at different layers in order to make penetration difficult for an attacker. If one mechanism fails, the other steps up immediately to thwart an attack or stop an attack. This multi layered approach with intentional redundancy increases the security of a system as a whole and addresses many different attack vectors. When you talk about defense in depth, so it includes a series of controls from which includes the seeds of control start right from the policy procedures to antiviruses. So you see at the top you have a policy procedures, then you have a physical controls, parameter controls, network controls, host based security like HIDS, HIPS, and then application based security, and then you have a database security. Difference in depth these days we call it as a legacy concept because it's made it is on the basis of external and the main attacks are originated. It is based on the concept that attacks are originated from outside and more more security should be placed on the outside traffic coming from outside. But these days it is in contrast with zero trust architecture because it is not necessary because earlier days, yes, you can say that the attacks originate from outside, but these days even the internal people cannot be trusted. So defense in depth also good, very good. But it is based on the concept that attacks originate from outside. More security should be applied on the traffic which is coming from outside and inside traffic should be trusted. But these days it is not like that. Attacks can originate from inside also, just like there is a person who has become disgruntled. He can do what he's not in a good terms with the manager. He can do wrong. Or sometimes I have seen that people just for testing. I remember one of my friends, he was learning C and he run some tool in the network. And, and which shows the bandwidth of a switch. It created a loop on a switch, but he was not caught lucky. But yes, I would say that can be a possibility. So that is why the difference in depth. This concept is somewhat losing its shine, and people are started moving. People have started moving towards a zero trust architecture, which is the next topic that I will be covering with you. Is it clear what is difference in depth?